graduating god bless so at first i was going to make this into a short but it dawned on me that this is way too important to just rush through it so a couple i think weeks ago days and weeks ago i was like attacked with demonic dreams i was having demonic dream demonic dream demonic dream like that entire day and i didn't understand because i was like i am positive i've been praying i'm reading the bible everything's fine i don't understand and i knew that too like when i woke up because it was like back to back i didn't even wake up in between these dreams like i did for like a second that way the dream would end and then it would be another one but i didn't fully wake up for the day and i was just like i don't understand you know like what is up with this and before i could fully like ask my like question what's going on instantly i was told like instantly this is because of halloween so somebody had messaged me and asked me if i had been dealing with anything like weird and they were talking about physical things so i was just like no i haven't really been dealing with anything weird i don't know what you mean so i plan to go back and contact that person and be like hey uh <laughs> correction actually i've been dealing with some weird things going on in my life so recently i almost had a heart attack it was really really bad i was about to pick up my daughter and i was just like i cannot pick her up my entire left arm just started hurting really really badly and then it kept on coming and going coming and going and every single time it would come back it would just like spread even more and the only reason why i stopped i had a no angles because i started calling on jesus as soon as the pain came i instantly knew what it was and i was just like jesus use jesus and every single time i called on jesus it would like stop because at first it was just going super super fast and i was like jesus jesus and it like went back and obviously you know i asked for prayer and i'm like that never really helped me um and then it eventually fully went away and then I had other people, because the people I was asking to pray for me, they were just like, hey, I have the same problem. Or they were like, I know somebody else who's having the same problem recently. And I'm like, what's going on? And it's like, some people are having heart problems for some reason. And then I find out with the demonic dreams. I'm not the only one who's dealing with all of these demonic dreams and attacks and stuff like that. So I was just like, what's going on? And it's like I completely forgot about that dream, those dr demonic dreams I had. And then waking up and being told it's because of Halloween. So I want to say, I want to point out really quickly, a, a quick disclaimer. That's what I was told. I was told about me that it's because of Halloween. Okay. I do not know what's going on with you guys. I don't know if you have a door open or like that. Always, always, always test the spirits. So definitely pray if you are having anything going on in your life and figure out what it is. If you do not have any doors open, ask God, is it because of the witchcraft that's going on with Halloween? So I just want to point that out really quickly. It's very, very important. Do not just assume, okay, I just had a demonic dream and, you know, I'm living fine. It has to be because of Halloween. Don't assume anything. Always pray. Always test the spirits. So I just want to point that out. And I do I want to talk about Halloween really quickly. So a lot of Christian correction a lot of professing Christians claim that it is okay to celebrate Halloween that is perfectly fine is for the kids now I just want to say something really quickly this is just a personal thing that I tell myself all the time with my daughter and my little sister when my little sister was younger and her growing up and you know my daughter and I understand maybe my mom thinks this way too but I'm not going to hell I'm not leading my child to go to hell and I'm sure enough and not going to open up spiritual doors and end up accidentally cursing myself or my kid or my little sister just so she can feel happy temporarily for one day and then me end up dealing with these curses and these demonic spirits running around my house for days and months or years. like i'm not gonna deal with that from one night you know what i mean like if your kid want to dress up and get some candy you can do that any day like i have a i guess it's like a rabbit thing and it's, it was a coat and it, it just looks like a rabbit and it's for my daughter she can wear it whenever she wants she can wear it whenever she wants to wear it okay she wants to dress up and look all cute fine she wants some candy she can get that whenever whenever she wants but i am not about to dress my child up i don't care if it's a pretty princess i don't care if she's just dressing up as herself she, we are not going to participate in this halloween thing and for years i will always just stay inside during halloween okay obviously be led by god if god is leading you to leave your house for some reason be led by god always pray and be loved by god so that's personal that's that's what i tell myself that's for me but i do want to tell you guys real quick if you just look up where did halloween come from on google i don't know about all the other 
search sites, but if you just look that up on Google, it says right here, yet the Halloween holiday has its roots in the ancient cultic festival of Samhain, a pagan religion celebrated to welcome the harvest at the end of the summer when people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts. Now, this right here is a little sugar-coated, but Halloween, actually, what I grew up learning about Halloween, and I remember, like, actually doing the research. If I did deeper research, I just wanted to look this up real quick so I can hurry up and make this video. But if you do deep, deeper research, they do sacrifices. They did sacrifices on those days. They probably still do today. I highly believe they're still doing it today. I do vaguely remember somebody coming out and saying, like, hey, all those missing children that go missing on Halloween, it's because they're doing sacrifices. Anyways, so... They're sugarcoating it a little bit, but even though they're sugarcoating it, they straight up say right here, a pagan religion. So I just, I just find it surprising to me how many professing Christians will like have all these excuses to celebrate these certain holidays to make their child feel happy. Like, I'm confused. I thought you were the parent, not your kid. Anyways, so to read a scripture for the people who know that, because there's most likely some people out there who know, yeah, this was a pagan religion back then, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, well, in 1 Corinthians 10, 21, and I've posted this before, but I want to mention it again. It says, ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord in the cup of devils. Ye cannot partake of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. This is obviously a pagan religion. This is not a religion that, that God made. This is not one of his ordained religions. And this is a tradition. And we know that Jesus talked to the Pharisees and he talked to them about their traditions. And the Pharisees turned around and crucified Jesus. So when God talked to them about their traditions, he wasn't trying to like pat them on the back for having traditions. He was telling them your traditions are more important than God's feasts and God's commandments. That's what Jesus was saying to these Pharisees when he had said that. Now, let me see if I can find that scripture so we can like actually read it. But it's just very important that we stop putting things in front of God, putting things above God because anything you put above God even if it's just a tradition that is an idol anything that is above God is an idol as soon as you wake up whatever the first thing that pops in your head if it's not of God you need to check yourself and make sure it's not an idol in Mark chapter 7 verse 9 and it says and he said unto them full well ye reject the commandment of God that ye may keep your own traditions guys nothing is new under the sun and we already know jesus is the same today yesterday and forever all right so if jesus said it to them then he is saying it today and this right here is a word that he said back then to them back then and he means it today all right so i just wanted to say that really quickly guys god bless you all and remember that the devil is doing this to some people i don't know about everybody but i know he's doing it to some people sending demonic dreams and everything like that after they've gone through a whole list of worship and praise and everything like that to make us doubt to make us be mad at god to make us feel like god doesn't care about us but that's not the case okay the devil wants us to feel that way do not let him win all right you continue to be happy continue to be joyful because when you stop being joyful when you start being mad at god at the end of the day, you're hurting yourself. You're messing up yourself. Yes, and it also hurts God. God loves you. He cares about you. And because of this little hiccup, you're just going to stop following him? Like, come on. We've read about the Israelites and we read about what they did when they escaped Egypt and how they treated God. Let's not continue that today. Okay? I get it trust me believe me i understand you are worshiping and praising all night and then you go to sleep and you have this demonic dream and it's hurtful i get it but it's we just gotta keep on going don't give up don't give up keep on going don't give up we already know that this life is a test and this life will throw random things at us all right so just keep on going keep on pushing okay 
right? And also stop with these traditions that are of men and follow God's commandments. All right. God bless you. Have a nice one.